So, Kane, how old are you now? Ten. Ten. And how old were you when, this, when all this was happening? Nine years old. Nine years old. So it's pretty recent. It's all just in the last year, huh? Well, I guess that's one-tenth of your life. So. Yeah. <laughs> So in looking at that, and I, I got to say, I actually didn't watch the video before because I wanted to feel what the audience felt, and, and I love that collective awe at the end. And I wish I had watched it ahead of time because I'd probably be more composed for this interview. Um, what was your favorite game? The clown machine. No, what's the cl what is the clown machine? Um, it has a hook and a string. It has a little track at the top of the box. Then you move the hook around, and, you, and there's stuff toys inside, and try to catch them. Now, that, was that a hard game to make, a difficult? I mean, what was the toughest one that you had to, to work on? The claw machine. <laughs> so you like a challenge? Yeah. Yeah. What did, you, uh, what did you ask your dad for this morning? A welder. A welder. <laughs> so uh, what you don't see in the film, um, and that from talking to you before, um, you had some ideas, you know, when, when you weren't getting a lot of customers, you had some ideas uh, to get some customers that you talked to your dad about. What were, what were some of those ideas? One idea was to get a billboard. My dad said, no, because it costs too much money. <laughs> That's hilarious. So uh, <laughs> um, you ended up getting a ton of people watching, not only g going to the arcade, but watching the video. N Naron, when you, when you started this, when you, when you met Kane, what were your expectations? I mean, and considering what's happened, seven million people, you've flown all around the, the world now to talk about this. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, well, the, the video was posted on April 9th, about eight months ago, and uh, when I posted I had a goal of raising a $25,000 scholarship fund for Kane. I thought maybe in a year or so we might get half of that. Uh, and the first day the video was posted, it got over a million views and raised over $60,000 on the first day. Uh, and by the end of the fifth day, it had raised $152,000. So we actually have a video clip of uh, the response was just incredible. And it wasn't just the response in the media, it was trending on Twitter worldwide, but it actually inspired kids around the world to start making. So here's a little clip of that. Finally tonight, we have a great story out of Los Angeles, East LA to be precise. When you're a lonely nine-year-old boy, an empty cardboard box can be a universe of possibility. I found this great story, I wanna share it with you. They're lining up to play at his cardboard arcade. This kid made his own arcade. And the internet has been flooded with response videos. Yeah, I'm getting 10 tries. Okay, this is me, Jojo Roman. I made this simple machine. It's called Tilt-A-Ball. Nice! Awesome. Where's my hair? I'm just getting in a circle, okay? Okay. Thanks. This was within the first five days, and there was obviously something magical happening. Uh, and we started thinking about how can this help more kids. And at that point, something amazing happened. We, we talked with the, the Goldhurst Foundation, and they gave us a $250,000 startup grant to launch a foundation to help more kids. So the grant's a, a challenge that matches public donations to Kane's scholarship fund, dollar for dollar. So now we've raised $220,000 for Kane's scholarship fund and we launched a foundation to foster creativity in more kids, and thanks. Um, so that happened five days after the video was posted. So it, this literally went from a movie to a movement in five days, and within five months, we've already launched uh, two campaigns with the foundation, which is called the Imagination Foundation, and this is a little clip of what we did in five months since the video was posted. So the Imagination Foundation's mission is to find, foster, and fund creativity and entrepreneurship in kids like Kane. After we started the foundation, the first thing we did is we hit the ground running with a school pilot program. Within the first two months, over 100 schools in nine countries participated using project-based learning to teach kids math, science, and engineering. One of the greatest challenges I think we face in education is tapping into children's natural powers of creativity 
And one of the appeals of Keynes Arcade is it's demonstrating how deep those powers are and how readily people will rise to the challenge if you give it to them. I told Kane that when I was a kid, I also built cardboard rockets. These were space capsules that we could actually fly in our backyard. And here I am, many years later, and I'm still building spacecraft. But this one, a real one, that landed on Mars. Childhood imagination will take you from cardboard to this in just a few years. These are a few of the things that Kane got to do. Remember this, Kane? Yep. So Kane was the youngest ever entrepreneur to speak at the USC Marshall School of Business. <laughs> and he went up to Sacramento and got the Latino Spirit Award from the California State Assembly. We flew to France, and he was the youngest ever speaker at the Con Lion International Festival of Creativity with other speakers like Bill Clinton and Ariana Huffington. He kind of took over the conversation. <laughs> and then this is just a few pictures of the uh, Cardboard Challenge event that happened at Kane's Arcade, which expanded for the day, and some of the people who came out to build and play. Um, Kane added the uh, mayor to his staff. <laughs> and got a cardboard key to the city. And he has a billboard now. <laughs> so when we were coming back from France uh, on this airplane, uh, I asked Kane, I'm like, what's going through your mind? Like, what, what's this like to be nine and, and get to do all this? And I asked him to write down some of the things that he's learned from this experience. And we didn't have any papers, so all we had was this uh, barf bag from Air France. And so Kane wrote down five lessons that he learned about having his own business, uh, five lessons on a barf bag. And I thought it'd be cool if he shared those with you guys. What I learned, no, number one, be nice to customers. <laughs> number two, do a business that is fun. Number three, do not give up. Number four, Start with what you have. And number five, use recycled stuff. And then, um, well, I had two lessons that I learned. I didn't learn nearly as much as Kane did, but uh, um, one was that it doesn't, it doesn't take much to change the life of a child. Uh, and, and really, it can happen in the most unexpected moments of your life, uh, just to take time to play. And the second and probably the most important lesson that I learned was to always buy the fun pass. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Give it up for Kane and Irvon one more time. <laughs>